time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. And introducing first, the legend himself, Mickey Ward. He's longer than he is taller, 173 centimeters tall, but his reach, 178 centimeters, and he weighed in at an even 64 kilos. And he'll be squaring off against Arturo Thunder Gotti. He stands at five foot eight inches tall. This man has never been in a boring fight. This is it, this is that fight, this is that argument. I don't know what to expect. Introducing first, Irish Mickey Ward. If you're looking for heart, courage, and determination, this is your guy, one of the toughest fighters that's ever laced him up. Arturo Thunder Gotti, fighting out of Quebec, Canada. This New Jersey fighting legend is ready to go again. Oh, pure bad blood. And with that, we turn it over to the world-renowned ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Lowell, Massachusetts, here is the exciting junior welterweight world title challenger, Irish Mickey Ward. Fighting out of the blue corner, the blood and guts warrior, the Hall of Famer from Jersey City, New Jersey, a super lightweight champion of the world, Arturo Thunder Gotti. You can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves, and here we go. Todd, it's one of my favorite venues. You can't get a better place to fight. So much hype surrounding this fight, and now it is go time. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. The jab not finding its target. Big shots from both of these fighters. You've got to be careful, though. What else can be said about this rivalry? Gotti and Ward squaring off for the fourth time. This is one of those fights they write movies about. They do books about. This is who actors want to be like. Everybody wants to be that ultimate hardman. Mickey Ward or Tua Gatti are your ideal hardman. Got him with a left jab. You gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. The face is starting to welt up from those straights. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. You can tell who's stronger and who's faster. This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. If you're fine to the counter puncher, you've got a dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about Warden that last round. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter, and the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fight to get out there and get the job done. Same again. Don't change too much yet. Keep doing what you're doing. And there's the bell to start the round. Well, Johnny, can he keep the momentum going after that last huge round for him? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. <laughs> the 
They both want a knockout, you can tell. Hey, stiff jab. When you're fighting a counter puncher, the feint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're gonna punch, make the counter puncher throw a punch, and then you counter them. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Let's fight a little bit closer than I think a lot of people thought. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Misses with the right uppercut. Beautiful counter shot. And he scores with the counter. One punch can change anything when these two step in the ring. There's a counter shot. Swing and a miss with that hook. Close round with 10 seconds to go. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Oh, look at Gotti. I don't know if he's going to serve. Let's talk about Warden that last round. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. They ring the bell, and here we go. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Nobody home with that hook. Beautiful counter punch. And that will put Gotti down. What a knockout headshot. Let's watch it again. And they knew it when they threw it. You're right, Todd. What a shot. Halfway through the round, and I think he knows he's got a lot of work to do. So he's back up on his feet, but can he get back into this fight? He's got to waste time. Get a step behind the referee. When he comes across, tie him up. The referee's then got to paw you. Walk around the ring. You've just got to make the most of it, because if you let him jump back on you again, he's going to get momentum and pull you down again. And that's a lot of points to lose in the round. He's up, but for how long? Look at that. On the heels. Look at There's nothing there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. It just takes one more clear shot. A clean one. And he's out of there. That hook won't. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Oh, God, he just got clipped. This next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. I love the response though. Got back up, took a deep breath and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. They ring the bell and here we go. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. When are we going to see a jab from these two?
Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you've hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. That hook just can't find the target. Those who thought this would be a mismatch, you are sorely wrong. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now they're going to find out. And that has rocked Arturo Gotti. Round. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Oh, wait, I love that. I love that. That chap's slick. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. You don't want to trade shots. That hook doesn't score. Perfect counter lands. It's always fascinating to watch two good welterweights because they've got blurry hand speed and good power. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Halfway through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Swinging big and missing big with that hook. The courage on display here is incredible. Oh, and the Irishman just got rocked. He's in some serious trouble here. Can he find his way out of this storm? Didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought there's no way he's going to finish this round. But look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed. Back on it. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Nicky Ward gets rocked. He's been in these situations. Let's talk about Warden that last round. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. And there's the bell to start the round. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. You gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you're thinking, you just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fake and a pickpocket. Jab slightly off target. The 
fighter's vision is paramount, and the referee may stop it here. And the referee's going to allow them to fight. They threw the hook. It didn't land. Gotti goes down. Let's see that again. I've got to see that again. <laughs> the best of rounds with 10 seconds to go. And that just rocked Arturo Gotti. This is serious business now. Can he get out of this big pressure situation? Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. You're being put down. You've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. They ring the bell, and here we go. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle now. He's got to, he's got to bluff them. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. This is about ego. Get your ego in check, Todd, because if you fight a man that is used to doing this, he's confident and comfortable doing this, why are you giving him that chance to dance that dance? Step out of the way, box him, frustrate him, because if you let him get away with it, he pulls you down. Nice counter. Throws the jab, but does not score. This has been a very competitive round between these two. They better start respecting each other's punching power. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other, because no one dares do anything out of turn. A punch output thought there would be uh, some more action here can Arturo Gotti survive this storm look at the swelling and the bruising they're gonna take a look and they may stop this fight they've been beaten so badly this fight you almost hope that it stopped and it is it is over TKO victory time is of the essence and it was a matter of time when this happened Another stoppage win for the resume, an excellent performance for sure. What's next? A TKO makes it so confusing because you think, what would have happened if the fight carried on? These guys are going to have to do it all over again. Because a TKO, to me, it doesn't tell us a full story.